All right, test, 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 test. <clears throat> So briefly want to touch on, I don't know if you caught it off the top, but uh, we are on a new social media app or a maybe not new social media app, but a newly named social media app. We are no longer on Twitter, ladies and gentlemen. We are on X. That's right. You can find Convincing Idiots on X. So uh, if you don't know, which you do because everyone has Twitter and everyone's app magically changed overnight from the... Uh, uh, the blue and white icon with the bird over to a black and white. It took me text. a long time. Like my my app literally just changed last week. Oh really? Yeah, mine was. Yeah, yeah it was last week. It was last week for me. They talked about oh, okay. it, but I think before they actually switched it over and everything, I think it was. But like a lot last of people I've talked to on Twitter, because um, I have like a community of people that that I talk to on Twitter. Um, they they switched earlier. But oh, maybe is that it's right? just. Depending on market, I don't know. Yeah, that's possible. Um, have you do you notice a difference? Is there anything no. uh, with with Twitter? I would say from from no. what I can tell, it's. I mean, it, it looks no different. That icon actually, a little bubble on your phone is the only thing that looks any different. Right. Um, I would like to say though, I just think it's funny how. Let's just walk through how how okay. we got here. So, um, you know, once. People started as the times have changed, as they do. People get crazier and crazier online. So a few years back, Twitter became the target of being, um, you know, censoring people too much. Right? A lot of people that were uh, being uh, reported for things and cracked down on for the types of things that they were saying, or perhaps uh, projecting hate speech, things like that. People were mad at Twitter, saying that they were being way too. You know, uh, strict and policies. They were being censored. Their freedom of speech was being threatened. So everybody on Twitter decided that felt that way, decided they were going to go to whatever, fucking parlor, truth social, whatever, and then and, and do something else. They were going to leave somewhere where they could speak freely. Okay. So um, in the meantime. That's why I came here to this podcast. Right. So Twitter. Gets, then I found yeah. out I wasn't allowed to say titty meat. Right. Then we got well, now sad. you can on Twitter or X or you know wherever. Actually, That's I think I think that term I'm not going to use mm -hmm. it just because I don't feel right and and I still want to be Dad's favorite. But I think that you could well, probably use that on most social media platforms. It's not overtly offensive, right? Um, I use it in my everyday life. I don't know what ever, everybody has the issue with. Like I walked up to my grandma the other day and I'm like, "Hey, how's your titty meat?" And slapped it around. I was like, all right, check yeah. it out, Grandma. Yeah. yeah. Give her a smack. Yeah, let her know you're there. Right. She appreciated it. <laughs> anyway, Twitter was, uh, right, uh, for the liberals, and they were upset about everything that you say and whatever. So people started flocking away from it. Okay, so Elon Musk takes over. He wants to give people their full freedom of speech back. Some people notice algorithms change. Different things are popping up. I like Nazis. So I'm going to buy this and let the Nazis run wild. Right. So now people want to flock away from Twitter. Now, the crowd that was, you know, initially under previous ownership, you know, were fine with Twitter. They start to move away. In the meantime, Zuckerberg and uh, Meta come out with a Twitter look alive rip off basically um through instagram which is threads as we know yep um we are on there as well go feel free to find convincing idiots on threads so then people start to flock to threads and then i just think it's kind of funny that now that twitter is rebranded it it's black and white it's a very basic thing like threads the interface looks exactly the same it's just kind of weird. It's it's like this. We're we're volleying back and forth with copying off of things, and and people are going to this thing and that thing and looking for their own unique experience. Uh, do you find yourself in the midst of all this, Dean? Uh, yes. More on uh, Twitter or Threads, or do you find that I, things are changing, or you, what's going on there? All right. I I use every social social media uh, platform I use for a different uh, situation. Right. Okay. Facebook, I'm going to use for to show pictures to family and friends that I don't get to see on a regular basis, so they get to see my son, whether they live across the country. I use it for that. Uh, Instagram, 
kind of the same thing, but it's more of a picture version. Mm-hmm. It's it's kind of more venturing into strangers as well that I've met, you know, throughout like Twitter and everything. But like Twitter, I don't like give my I don't give my grandmother my Twitter handle. I don't right. give my mother my Twitter handle because like that's where I tell the shitty jokes that I can't tell on Facebook. Okay. <laughs> And in that, I've, I've met a, a fantastic group of people, like a, com- a, a very small community of people that I've known for quite a few years. We're in like, uh, like a, what a DM group or whatever you want to call it. Yeah, like group chat. Yeah. And there's like a, a handful of us, 20 some, 30 some, whatever. Not even talks at the same time, but, but it, it, it's a great community. I've, 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 I consider them friends, whether mm-hmm. I've never met them in person, but I, I do consider them friends and I enjoy that community. So that's what I enjoy about Twitter. Like I can give a shit less about like the feed and everything. Granted, it's become a lot of ads. Sure. So I did, I did threat. I only joined threads because like I thought Twitter was going to end. Yeah. And I still can maintain the Threads uh, app just in case uh, he he tanks this thing into the fucking ground. Right. So it I is have basically something that, the, it is. It's the same fucking thing. It's it the is. same experience. But my problem with Threads is that it's linked to Instagram. I don't want to have that sort of platform linked to people I actually like friends and family. I okay. need an outlet to tell shitty jokes that, like, my grandmother won't read. Okay. So that's my problem with Thread. Well, I was just saying, I know they're not linked, linked, but they are, like, you can get directly from, you can get directly to your Threads account from your Instagram. Like, it's it's now just automatically on your profile. Right, like I don't like that. If you go to the thing, like, it'll it'll take you right to, like, the Threads account. If you, you know, hit the link. Sure. Yeah. But you still have to sign up through Instagram. Yeah, right. So I, yeah, I don't. Yeah, I don't. don't, Can you have a Threads account without an Instagram or no? No, I don't believe you can. Okay. So I've always had Instagram, so I just don't like. I don't. I don't know. Sure, (laughs) but yeah. So anyway, I just thought it was interesting, and uh, I don't know what changes come with this. I don't know if it even matters, if it makes a difference, but it is nonetheless pop culture and news so Hi. there you have it this is millennial nick along with gen x brian and zenial dean hey if you like that video which we really hope you did you should like and subscribe that would be great Thank you.